Hello guys, this is a video guide where I'll show you how to install, connect and use the touch server. How to install. So here you can see, this is the GitHub page where you can download the server from, and this is the URL of the page. You can find it at the description below or you can also get this link by long pressing the go to release button in menu of the Android app. At this page, find the latest release, and download the zip file of the release and extract it. Once extracted, the actual server and the required files will be present in the extracted folder, so it's the application folder, move it to a proper location where you want it. How to connect? Once you installed, Open the folder, there you could find a executable named touch server, which is the exe you needed to run to start the server. So I would recommend you to make a shortcut for this exe in your desktop. When you run the server for the first time some antivirus software may flag it as a virus, but it is not. So I can assure you that no problem will arise to your PC or data in it if you downloaded it from the GitHub links I provided. To connect, let's open the client app in your Android and server installed in your PC. Now, in order to connect, both our mobile and PC has to be in same network. It can be a common Wi-Fi mobile hotspot or you can also use usb tethering so here in the server you could see it saying no network is available that is due to the fact that it is not connected to a network and in the android by long pressing this scan button you could open the scan tab there also you could see no network let me turn on the hotspot in the mobile and now you could see, on scanning, host address got updated in the app, but not in the PC. So let me connect to my mobile hotspot in my PC then you can see that network address is also updated in the PC. When server is running, in your Android app press scan button. Then you could see your server listed in the scan tab. Click your server there, if your server has password then enter it and press connect. So now you could see your phone's name in your server and they are connected successfully. Server and its configurations. So, here in the server you could see the different actions it can perform. Press S to start or stop the server. And press I to show more information about the server or to hide them. And press C to close the server. Then in the application folder, when you run the server.exe for the first time, a file named settings.ini will be created which acts as the configurations of the server. In this file you could change server name set password or can set max devices by changing these parameters here the first parameter represents the unique id used to identify your pc server so don't modify that let's just modify the server name and save it and to apply the changes close the server and reopen it here we could see the server configurations updated. More information and issues. So, the first thing is that, when you initially use the server you could see this error message. Which means that the driver which the server uses to stimulate Xbox controller is not installed. If you're not going to play any games using Xbox controller, then this is not a problem. But if you want to use them, you need to install the driver. So to install the driver, go to the application folder of the server. There you could see this exe which is the driver setup file. 
install it. Now, once driver installed you could see this error is gone. Second thing, with this app you could control most of the softwares. But, it won't work on the softwares with admin privilege like task manager, control panel or some games. To resolve this you need to run the server as admin. So to avoid calling, run as admin, every time, I would recommend you check the option run as admin in the advanced options of shortcut properties. Third thing, if you mistakenly pressed somewhere in the server window, and the screen became blank, then to resolve this issue, just press a key in the keyboard which will refresh the screen. And there is another issue, while using server make sure that, num lock, is off, because when it's turned on, keys like arrow up down left right might not work. So, that's all you need at most to use the server. If you find any issue or bugs in the app or server, please report it at the link in the description. It helps us to fix the bugs and improve the app. Thank you very much for trying this app.